So for today, we're going to be looking at Reign of Fire that I got asked for not too long ago. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, uh, Reign, Reign of Fire, Fell Winter, and I think it was a uh, getaway artist got asked for. And then another person asked for Liar's Handshake. I already made a list of exotics that I wanted to go through. So I am going to um, put those exotics into them. I'm not going to make them immediately because I already had plans to make a lot of these exotics. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to be making Rain of Fire, Fell Winters, and Bombardiers. And then from there, we're going to go to the arc specific uh, playlist that I wanted to do. And then I'm going to throw Ursa Furiosa so that way Titans get an exotic because it's going to be Warlocks going first, then Hunters, and then Titans are going to uh, finish it up. So it's going to be, uh, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 videos. Uh, and a lot of them are just arc specific because again, next, next season is arc 3.0 and I want to have some of these fashions, uh, down. So that way you guys can have some cool fashions to do for 3.0. So I know this is a long explanation, but I just wanted to make sure you guys are aware that the people who specifically asked for exotics, if you don't see it soon, it's because I either have the list it's coming up or I'm going to have to do it after I'm done with this playlist. Because again, this is a long one. This is a long one. Uh, 13 videos is not is not easy to make, especially when the format that I do it is pretty complicated. Well, not complicated, just time consuming. So I would really appreciate if you guys like the video, subscribe because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So again, do me a favor, subscribe. These videos take a long time to make specifically like almost a, a full day, depending on how many ornaments it has. Thankfully, Rain of Fire and Fell Winters and a lot of the other ones that I'm going to be do reviewing don't have an ornament or only have like one, which is the easiest ones because I can just kill them and eat like in like maybe an afternoon. So again, subscription would be very much appreciated because these take a lot of work. And again, don't be afraid of asking for an exotic. I know I'm making a lot a big list right now, but I will add it to the big list that I already have. And I mean, you're going to be doing me a favor because that's more content. So again, don't be shy, ask away and let's just get into it. So Reign of Fire, definitely one of the coolest exotics that the Warlocks have gotten this season. It's definitely really cool. I really, really like a lot of it because it just looks really cool. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think the only negative that I can really say is for females, it looks really small. I can't tell you about males because I don't have a male Warlock, but for females, it just looks super, super small. Uh, as for how it shaders, this is the only problematic piece that I can think people are going to be annoyed about is the fact that the camo rarely, rarely is out. So what I mean by that is a lot of shaders are just going to have camo in them. And there's few shaders that actually block out the camouflage. So, for example, I can think of Shark Bite. Uh, there is Shattered Sinew, which is a shader from the 30th anniversary. The only problem is if you look really closely to two of these shaders, you'll notice that there's actually still camo underneath. So if you want to block it out completely, you would even you either have to find it through a shader or just kind of ignore it. Thankfully, the two that I listed and I hopefully I showed you guys right now, those two are actually pretty good at blocking it out. I'll, I will say that the shattered sinew is a little bit better because it is a red and white, which can be easily usable. The only problem is the knee pads are actually camouflaged for that. And for the same thing for shark bite, the, the knee pads are camouflaged. So you can't completely block it out, but I really don't mind it because you're going to be pairing this with a tactical look anyways. As for the regular shaders, again, Echoed Anger looks really cool with it. Again, you will notice that it does have that uh, the camouflage. The Abyssinian Gold also has that camouflage, but it's a little harder to see because it is black on black. And for Sato Tribe, it's also camouflaged, but let's let's get on to the main problem of this set, which is not even the, the exotic itself. It's the fact that chess pieces will cover this up most of the time so let's just show you the first look that i made for this so for the first example set i shouldn't even call it an example set i plugged it right out of my tactical look if you guys haven't seen that video i'll plug it in right now because it's a really good video i'm really proud of that one because a lot of the looks look really cool specifically this one we're using the gambit siladin because it has camouflage in the actual shader which is why i'm using it 
uh, for the helmet, we're using the Cinder Pinion cover because I really like the tactical look. It has like a camera on this side and it comes from a tactical uh, set. So I just thought, why not? Uh, for the Tusk Allegiance gloves, I honestly like this, this one because A, it's like it has like a metal plating, which obviously makes sense, but it also has camouflage within the shader itself. So I think that was, that's really cool. For the for the vest, we're using the Deep Explorer vestments, which is the whole reason why I really like this chest piece is because it pairs really well with boots. You never really see Warlocks have an open, uh, almost an open side to to the boots. It's always usually covering something with like a dick cloth or robes just cover it as well. I know this one has a little bit of a dick cloth, but I you can still see the boots like very clearly. And then for the bond, we're using the interlaced bond because I like how it looks kind of like a shield. So this one, I again, I plugged it from the tactical video and the deep explore vestments. I made a review for for the armor sets for all the classes. If you guys haven't seen, I'll plug it in right now because again, those two videos are really cool because one of them just shows you the armor basic look and then the tactical look will show you what I did with those armor sets because again, a lot of the pieces are really fucking good. So. I really like this set. It's one of my favorites. And if I wore Rain of Fire a lot more, this is the set I would actually be rocking with it because I think it looks really good. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys like this one? Let me know. The next one we're going to be looking at is the Street Scholar cover for the helmet because I really like the the mask of it. Kind of looks like I'm I'm wearing protection. For the arms, we're using the arms from Duality because I really like them and they add the, the sense of like tacticalness to it the chest piece we're using the duster of the cormorant blade this one is an old one from season of the drifter i really like it because it's a it's just a really cool trench coat which i think warlocks really look the best with uh, and then for the bond we're using the psionic speaker bond so i really like this set i don't get me wrong i think it looks really cool the only problem i have with it is i think the chest piece could be a little bit better and that's really it. I think the chest piece is just the only piece where I'm like, I really wish Warlocks had more tactical looks in the game because as you guys can see right now, this is how my uh, Warlock should be looking. But my main problem with this whole set is we don't have a lot of these. We don't have a lot of pieces that cover that don't cover the legs like this because I personally wanted to just go with this like personally. I would tell you this looks way better. This one than the one I sh previously showed you. Don't get me wrong, the previous one I still like, but this is the one that I had in my head. The only reason I'm not using the Lightkin robes is A, I use it a lot, and B, I'm gonna use it in the next one, if I remember correctly. And if not, I already used it anyways, so I'm kind of like hesitant to use it again. But this is what I wanted to do with first because A, I think it looks really good. The chest piece is just amazing. I did. I did talk about this when this armor came back, uh, but yeah, I, I fucking love this chest piece. And I also love that it doesn't cover the legs at all. So you can literally see the exotic, uh, but you could also do the inspector rose, which this one I was thinking about doing, but this one is, I am actually using this in the next, in the next video. It's not, it's not the lichen one. It's this one. This is the one I'm going to be using in the next video. So that's why I didn't use that one. This one, uh, I probably honestly just the reason because I just didn't want to use it again and I had just used it for a previous video. So that's probably why I didn't want to use this one again. Uh, but Bray Tech Researcher is also a good one if you don't want to impede the boots. My only thing is this doesn't look like militaristic. It looks kind of like a scientist or a researcher, obviously, researcher, research, the researcher's robes. So my only gripe is just that warlocks do not have tactical looks. I was thinking about this one because this does not look bad. If anything, it looks really cool. I just didn't want to use it. Uh, I don't know. I think it's like the shoulder pieces just pissed me off to some weird extent. But yeah, warlocks, you guys do not have good, good tactical pieces because I was thinking about this one and it still doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't look tactical. This looks way more cabal for me. Uh, the Veritas robes look really cool. Kind of does look tactical, but it covers almost the whole fucking boot. And then there's pieces where I got really fucking mad. Like this one. I, I was thinking, dude, like the Phobos Warden robes are tactical as fuck. Oh, I can't see my fucking boots. Never mind. So, yeah, this one pissed me off a little bit because I was, I was like, man, this one's perfect. 
Uh, I will say you could probably use like legacies. Uh, I was, I'm going to use this in the next video, which is Geomags. So that's why I didn't use it, but you could use that one. I just don't think it looks right, but I mean, you could, uh, you could use some of the stuff that doesn't have a lot of stuff covering the bottom like this. You can clearly see the boots and the booty. Uh, same thing with the righteous robe. You can not see the booty, but you can see like a whole leg, which is pretty cool. But I just don't think this looks tactical. So this is this is where my my annoyance with the warlock fashion comes in, because a lot of pieces are just going to be covering your boots. A lot of it, too, like. And which is a problem, especially if you want to rock an exact like, look at this. I was thinking about this one, too, and it covers the whole damn boot. Like, I can't even look inside. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. That's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like this exotic? Let me know in the comments below. I think it's really cool. I think the fact that you can pair it with fucking the the fusion rifle from Vogue is really wild. And it's certain it synergizes so well. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Next video is going to be Geomag. Oh, no. Next video is going to be Fell Winters, and then after that, it's going to be Bombardiers, and then after that, it's going to be the the Arc 3.0. So, I do apologize for people who ask for stuff. You guys will see those videos come up eventually, but just be patient because I do want to have those 3.0 videos out as soon as I can, so that way people can start doing fashion around Arc, because Arc hopefully will be really good. But, yeah, be safe, and I'll see you guys later.